Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy, X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you guys for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need. Or you can just go directly to my website. It's going to be X E L O H H. Dot com. All right, welcome back to my page. Cakewalk has just released the 2021.06 update for Cakewalk. I'm just gonna walk you through kind of what they added in here. Let's go. All right, so this is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I do have a link below in the description, let you download it for free. And if you're not sure how to install themes, I have a video showing you how to do them as well. So let's jump right into it and go through what's going on in the update. So I'm gonna go to help here and I'm gonna just go to about, and as you see, I'm at the 2021-06 build 50. A lot of things have been added in here. One of the really cool things that's been added, I'm just gonna hit P on my keyboard to bring up my preferences. So in preferences, I'm on devices. And as you see now, it has an option for a one and two for my ASO driver. And if you scroll, if I scroll down to using my actual audio interface, as you see, it has the five through six on here now, showing you what, how many outs and how many ins your actual interface has. Really cool feature that they added in here to kind of just show you where your things are inside of the DAW. All right. And they also added a configuration file. If you go to a configuration file inside of preferences, it gives you an option here that says mass dropout detection. And if you click on where it says false, it'll give you an option to actually put true. And what that does is uh, it'll mask the detection of performance related dropouts during playback and recording in order to prevent engine dropouts. So if you're getting a lot of engine dropouts when you're using Cakewalk or playing back your audio, this is what you probably want to set on there to make sure that you don't get those dropouts as much. All right. So those are the two things that they added for the actual sound and for the actual configuration. Let's go. So they also added some things inside of tempo track. So I'm gonna go to view and I'm gonna go to tempo track show hide. You can right click inside this section here. And as you see here, it gives you an option that says show grid lines. And this will actually show you the grid lines for your tempo. So you can change them that way as well. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature. All right, so let's add some instruments. I'm gonna go up here to instruments, let's go. Let's add some sample tank. So let's say you are doing like a big orchestral setup and you wanted to make sure you have, you know, your folder check, you want your instruments, track out. Uh, as you see, it shows 16 here and I just hit create. And it's gonna create all those channels, all 16 of them uh, for sample tank. So let's say you already had everything set up, but you wanted to change one of the sounds for a labs, let's say number six. You can right click on the actual track and you go down here to where it says replace synth on this track only. And I'm going to add a SI strings. Let's just put that in there. And as you see, it changed the number to a one and two. So everything else has their own numbers. As you see, it all assigned to their own thing. All right, so now if I go in here, now the strings is actually set up on that track. Uh, you could do this for multiple outputs if, if you want to. If you want to change 11, you could do the same thing for that. You can just go to replace synth on this track only. And you can even do like a lapse on here. I think that's really cool for people who do a lot of like orchestral stuff. And they just wanted to change that one sound. They didn't actually want to use it for this track. Instead of pulling up a whole nother, you know, uh, setup, you can just actually put it in the same one with this same folder and everything will still collapse and be set up the same way. 
I think that's a really uh, nice feature that they added on there. And another option that they did put in here is the option to move multiple tracks at one time. So I'm gonna move 14, 15, and 16, which is 27 to 32. So if I move them now, it'll actually move all three of them at the same time. Now you see all of them have moved up or you can move them down. Before you didn't have that option to move them like this. Now you can just move whatever is selected, you can actually move. All right, and I believe that's enough fun with this. So I'm gonna delete these. All right, so I just put a Keyzone Classic in here. I'm gonna grab this MIDI. I'm gonna drag it over into the track. As you can see, it goes for the eight bars. And I'm also gonna grab the actual sample itself and pull that over. All right, so now I have the MIDI and I have the wave. All right, I'm gonna mute the MIDI for right now. I'm just gonna focus on the wave. So let's cut this up. All right, so I have a two bar wave here. And let's say I wanted to duplicate it and whatever I duplicate, I want it to be able to affect all of the duplicated tracks. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna hold down Control, Shift, and D. I'm gonna do it one more time, and once again. All right, so all these are exactly the same exact piece. Uh, all these clips are actually linked to each other. All right, so let's say we wanted to reverse this first one. I have a shortcut here. I'm gonna hit my page down to reverse. So I'm gonna reverse the tracks, and you see all of them have actually reversed. If I go to this one and I hit reverse, as you see, all of them have reversed. So it doesn't matter which one you're on. Uh, if you change one, it should change all of them. Uh, for the audio files, I found that it only works for process stuff. If you're processing anything, like if you're doing a reverse or if you're doing like a uh, gain, so I can do a gain on all of them, right? And then just do a negative six dB cut. And if I hit okay, as you see, all of them processed and went down to that six dB. I'm just gonna hit control Z. But this is good if you actually have sections that are different and you wanna use that same, whatever effects or whatever uh, changes you made, it'll affect all of them. All right, so for the MIDI, the MIDI, whatever you do to the MIDI is going to happen to all of the MIDI. So let's change that to, I'm going to bring this back, right? And I'm going to do the control shift and D. Okay. So let's say this one here, I wanted to take out this piece here, right? If I hit delete on it. As you see, it removed it from all the other channels as well. That space is there for all of them. If I change anything on one of them, it'll change it for all of them. So if I go here and take out this part, all of them have actually changed. It also works for like velocity, whatever you change in MIDI, it will change the whole entire thing because all of them will be linked to each other. Cool? Cool. All right, and another thing they added uh, if you do, if you do a lot of automation, I'm just going to hit on this automation lane to bring up the volume control. If you do a lot of this, um, and you use the freehand, it makes it a lot easier to do smoother waves. If you're dealing with like instruments, uh, if you go to options and you go to freehand smoothing, they have added a linear and a jumps option in here. I would stick to the smoothing, just the smooth one, because the smooth one is perfectly fine. In order to actually use it, you want to bring up your tool. You want to go up here to where it says draw freehand. And this will allow you to draw freely whatever you're trying to draw. I believe I like this one the most because it just does what whatever I'm actually doing. Uh, if you do find other options, the other options to be better, uh, more power to you. I think they do pretty much the same thing at least from what I've experienced.
right? And as you see, I don't, I don't see much of, you know, a change in the way it actually does it, but I will leave mine on the, just the smooth, but it is an option in there for you guys if you want to use it. All right, so the other option that has been added, let's hit T on my keyboard to get back to my smart tool, is inside the piano roll. All right, so I'm just gonna delete this part here. So I do have this articulation lane open. Uh, if you don't see yours on here, you can go to show hide articulation lane. I'm just gonna make a uh, note here. And I'm gonna use the chord triads Let's just do a major and this and hit okay. All right, so now I have a chord here. So if I right click on this and you go to edit articulation map, uh, in this section here where it says transform existing MIDI events, they've added an option in here to do some offsets. In order to actually get to the offset, you have to click the out one and hit on this where it says note. You wanna put new note. And this new note will bring up the start time offset and the duration override. Um, I don't really use articulation maps too much, but this is how you would actually get to it. This is one of the new features that they added in here. I'm just showing you how to get there. I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> All right. So let's bring this and uh, apply that. And as you see, it put it on all of them because they're all linked. I still have them linked up here. So all of them have that same chord. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? And let's delete these. And I'm also going to delete this track here. Let's bring this MIDI back over. And let's have some fun. Let's find some drums. All right. So I have a, you know, basically like a piece of a song here. And let's uh, show you the articulation maps that they've added. So I'm gonna hit on here, this A to go to articulation maps and let's do let's do five let's do four bars here and we're going to do another four bars here i'm going to change this one let's change it to a bridge let's say a bridge all right so um for the intro i'm not going to have the beginning of the drums let's cut that and now i have my two sections here let's bring them down i'm going to right click on this little sandwich thing here, and it's gonna bring all of them, or if you just click it, when nothing is highlighted, it'll bring it down. So let's add this to it. All right, so that's arrangement one. So let's say I wanted to make another arrangement. So I have arrangement one. I'm gonna hit this first one to highlight it, and I'm gonna hold down shift and hit this bottom one. I wanna have all of them in my next arrangement. No, actually, let's do this. Let's do the first one and let's do till the third one. So I'm gonna hit shift on there. Now the ones that are highlighted will make a new arrangement. So I'm gonna right click on here and go to new arrangement from this section or selection, I should say. And as you see, it put that same selection here. So now arrangement two is there. So let's say I wanted to add arrangement two here at the, let's do the, the 16, 16 bar mark, right? What I can do is where this check mark is, it says commit arrangement to project. Once you right click, you'll see the insert committed arrangement and it'll put it wherever your playhead is. So if I click, clicked it, as you see, it created it at the 16th bar and created my three sections that I had for my arrangement too. You can name them whatever you want to. I think that's really cool. It helps out a lot when you're doing like a TV film stuff. You can just set up all your stings and cuts and just have them all the way at the end. I think that's really cool. And I believe that is it for what I have found in this new update of the 202106. If you guys have enjoyed this video, definitely like. Uh, if you want to subscribe, definitely subscribe. You can hit the bell notification and that'll let you know when I drop another video like this. I 
Hope you guys actually got something out of this video. If you have like any questions, definitely leave them below in the comments. You know I'll get back to you on those. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace.